everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm already regretting my life choices. So today is gonna be the best friend controls my life for 24 hours. So my best friend Gemma has just agreed that tomorrow morning, she is gonna control my life. And um, I'm a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I guess we'll just see. The reason I'm starting this now is because I've had to message her so I can find out what time I'm waking up at, which she has not told me yet. So I'll let you know when I know. We're still pretty much in lockdown. So obviously there's some limitations to things that I can do, but it could still be pretty bad. We'll see. <laughs> I'm literally just letting my mind get carried away with what she can make me do. And I'm like, oh my God. What if she makes me do my makeup like we did when we were at school? Because I will lose my mind <laughs> if she does. Oh, it would be so bad. Funny, but bad. Okay, so I have my instructions for the morning. Have to be up and outside my house at 9.30 and Gemma's gonna meet me outside. And I guess we'll just see what happens afterwards. I'm scared, but I'm excited. And I'm really excited to see her as well because I've not actually seen her since January when we came back from Belgium. Literally last time I saw her was at the airport when we got back So I'm really excited to see her and uh, yeah, I'll check in with you when I wake up. So I've been up for about an hour um, But I don't have any instructions until about nine o'clock So I have literally just been lying here and scrolling social media. We've got about 15 more minutes until the day starts. So here we go, I guess. Annoyingly, some of the clips that I took for this video were corrupted, so I just don't have them. At this point, I had been on a walk with Gemma, we had a coffee, it was really, really nice. And then I came home and I was to do my workout for the day, which was a morning yoga session and then a fitness martial video. So that is today's workout done. It's really good to try something new actually. I'm not the biggest fan of yoga, but it was good to try. And I really enjoyed the fitness martial video. I'm all about those dance workouts. So that was really good. Okay, so I'm just out of the shower. I've literally just brushed my hair and put my dressing gown on. Today's clothing theme is based on color rather than clothing type. So wear whatever you want, but must be the same color head to toe, preferably not black. And then, Oh my god, why did I put this out into the universe? And then you are to do your hair and makeup like we did in high school or around age 14, 15. And she sent me some, she said, I think these are helpful for context. Shame we don't have any dream map mousse. I can't wait to see how this turns out. So she sent me a video. Do you know the worst thing is that I actually think I have some dream map mousse. I'm sure I got it in like a pamper package or something at Christmas at some point. Oh my God, we used to back comb our hair so much. I guess I'm gonna blow dry my hair. This is causing me actual stress because the makeup that I used to put on was horrendous. And I'm trying to look back at photos and figure out what I did to look like that. And yeah, we'll try and recreate it. Do you know what? I don't even think I used makeup brushes back then. I think I just did it all with my fingers. So let's try. This I think is the like newer version of the Dream Matte Mousse that we used when we were younger. It is the most disgusting thing ever. It's, the texture of it is vile, so drying and the fact that they're still making it is is uh, is bewildering to me i have no idea this definitely isn't my shade either which is perfect because it never was when i was 15 either and oh did 15 year old me moisturize no she didn't so we're not moisturizing today either oh, this is so gross i am going to be using the viewfinder a bit here because i don't want to constantly have the mirror in front of my face oh gotta get a lips wait remember that Oh my god, that is disgusting. 
I'm gonna have to FaceTime her once I've done this so that she can see what a mess is and what she has caused. Apologies that the lighting and angle keeps changing. My tripod is not cooperating today. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I am f***ing orange. And do you know what this line? It's only gonna get worse because we got bronzer to go. Thing is, do you know what's mental, right? We did not think we looked bad. I feel like this is like a really weirdly like psychological thing in that now I'm like, did I actually do it like this or am I taking it, am I like subconsciously taking it to the extreme because this is whatever, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Next, we're gonna move to brows. And um, like I said, my hair was black and I used a black coal eyeliner to do my eyebrows. Wow. Do you know what the worst thing about this is that there are still people my age that walk about with eyebrows like this. I would rather never use eyebrow products ever again if this is what it came to be. What did I just do? Do you know what, from like this far away, the eyes don't, eyes, not eyebrows, eyes don't look that bad, but they really f***ing are. <sighs> My poor hair. I look like what people think a prostitute looks like. Like this is the stereotypical thing that you see if someone's like, playing a prostitute in a show. But anyway, I'm gonna FaceTime Gemma now and see what she says. Time to go get my mum's reaction. <laughs> yeah, like this. Just coming to see what you think. Oh. I thought I'd get a better reaction than that. The dodgy eyebrows, you mean? The dodgy eyebrows, the dodgy everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm to make myself a coffee and some breakfast or lunch. I am having avocado on toast with egg. If you know me, you know I hate egg. She has been very kind and said to take the yolk out because I the taste of the yolk I can't stand. The white, I can stand the taste, it's the texture. So she said I have to boil it. So I'm gonna have to like hard, hard, hard boil it. So breakfast wasn't actually as bad as I was expecting. It was really filling and the avocado pretty much did cover the taste of the egg, but there was still that egginess to it that I could have done without. But very filling breakfast, so all in all, very good. Next, Gemma would like me to do viral TikToks with my dog. So I have to do one where I play dead, one where I throw a ball, then hide under a blanket, and another one where I hug her for a long time and see what she does. I honestly don't think she'll do anything for any of them, but okay. And if my mum is willing, get her to do a TikTok, just whichever one, the first one that we see is. So, cool, okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> well, that one was a fail. Put a finger down if you've kissed over five people. Put a finger down if you've been pulled over while driving. 
Put a finger down if your body count is larger than three. Put a finger down if you've ever stolen your friend's man. Put a finger down if you've ever farted in class. Put a finger down if you've ever shoplifted. Put a finger down if you've ever been in a physical fight. Put a finger down if you've ever been arrested. Put a finger down if you've ever caused a car crash. Put a finger down if you ever got caught vaping in the bathroom. Put a finger down if you've ever been fired from your job. Put a finger down if you've ever done drugs. Put a finger down if you've ever gotten a detention. Put a finger down if you have a tattoo. Put a finger down if you've ever been cheated on. Put a finger down if you've ever failed a class. Put a finger down if you have over five piercings. Put a finger down if you've ever snuck out. Okay, so now Gemma wants me to paint. She's told me to go on to randomwordgenerator.com and look at the first three to five words and paint something to do with those, however they inspire me. So let's see what those words are. Okay, so the words that have come up are, the first one is month, second one is wire, the third was modest, the fourth was houseplant, and the fifth was tourist. So I'm going to stick with the first three for just now and then if I can figure out how to incorporate houseplant and tourist into it as well, then I will. Okay, now Gemma has tasked me with making a cocktail for me and my mum with only ingredients that we already have in the house. So for those of you that don't know, I was a bartender for like three, mm, like four years, four years-ish. Um, and I made cocktails the whole time. So I have a fair bit of cocktail experience. So I'm gonna have a rummage through the cupboards and see what we've got. I want this makeup off my face. And I wanna brush my hair. Now it is time to make dinner. So Gemma wants me to have a pizza. She wants me to use a pre-made pizza base and she wants me to put pepperoni and pineapple on top because that's what I introduced her to and it's amazing. She also said to chuck on some jalapenos if I have them, which I do. I don't have any like pre-bought pizza bases. So I've just whipped up this like quick dough here. So I'm gonna get started. So my pizza is now ready. We have mozzarella cheese with some pepperoni, pineapple and jalapenos. Now, while I eat, I'm to watch Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, because that's the book that Gemma is reading right now. Very, very good choice. And then do a little face mask as well, which I'm really excited about because I can't wait to get this tar off of my face. So I'm an idiot that decided to eat my pizza too quickly before it cooled down and have burnt all the top of my mouth. So I've only eaten half of it so far, but now I'm gonna take all this shit off my face and pop on a face mask. I'm so excited for this. Once again, I apologize that I'm looking in the viewfinder, but it's just so I don't need to sit with a mirror in front of me. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. I really thought that was gonna like smudge everywhere. I feel like my eyebrow hairs are gonna be dyed black after this. I don't like makeup wipes are gonna cut it. Maybe bleach look at the colour of my skin where I've rubbed it and the foundation. It's actually mental because I see girls going about with this kind of makeup on. Oh, it feels so good. So I'm popping this mask on my like nose and T-zone, maybe a little bit on my chin as well. Oh my god. <gasps> <gasps> okay. I mean, hello. This looks great. So I've just thrown on a brightening mask as well. 
Honestly, my skin needs it after today, but I am getting to the point that like, I'm struggling to move my face. So I'll check in later on. I actually don't know if Gemma has any more instructions for me tonight. Technically this is a 24 hour challenge and we only started this at nine o'clock this morning. So she could really f me over tomorrow morning, but I guess we'll just see. It is now the next day and she didn't make me do anything horrendous this morning. I was half expecting to get a text at like four o'clock in the morning to say we were going on a run or something like that. But that did not happen. Um, all in all, it was an interesting experience. Would I do it again? Maybe, possibly. But I think it would maybe be quite interesting to see one of my male best friends do it and see what kind of like different day I would have <clears throat> if one of them was to plan it. But thank you very much to Gemma for taking part in this video. I'll leave her Instagram and everything like that in the description below if you'd like to go and have a look. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment and subscribe and have a lovely rest of your day.